All right, so welcome to Exodus. Welcome back, I should say. <laughs> welcome back to doubles. <laughs> welcome back to the uh, welcome back to doubles, or welcome to doubles, I guess I should mm -hmm. say, because we haven't had commentary for doubles yet. Um, but singles bracket up until top twenty-four top has 24, been yes. yeah, top twenty-four has been done, and mm -hmm. top twenty-four will uh, tomorrow can continue tomorrow. Yes, right. Uh, this is gonna be very exciting. But right now we have doubles going yeah. on right now. And um, 
the first thing I noticed about doubles, we have 77 people in singles, and there are 36 teams in doubles. There are only five players not playing, including me. So, you know, yeah. almost every good player you're going to see tomorrow is going to be on screen yes. today. Yes, so indeed. you want a sneak peek for tomorrow, come yeah. on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to you wanna analyze, if you're up there in the crowd, you want to analyze this ma these matches and just see how everybody plays. And uh, from there, just uh, try to see what you can do tomorrow if you uh, face against them, you know? Exactly, exactly. Uh, uh, something I should be doing uh, in the crowd, but, you know, I have two screens right in front of me. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I think yeah. I got the trap. Yeah. I mean, it's always the same for me, like, every single time that I'm, like, out of bracket or out of pools, yeah. I just straight up just try to get any chance I can to do commentary, mm. because commentary is always so much fun. Oh, like, I always imagine. end up just going home having had the best experience yet, mm. and I'm very, very excited to do commentary uh, here as well, because ah. uh, I think we're going to get some very exciting mm. matches, and we're starting yeah, off with two Lucinas, a Falcon, oh. and Meta Knight. So, Persistent Blades. Yes. We got, so we got, uh, we got, two, got two of the same characters against each other. Not on the same team, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, no, 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 no. So uh, that's gonna be a bit of a, mm -hmm. I guess you'd call it girl fight. And, oh, uh, yeah. and then we got, oh, we got Smuff. So uh, oh, this is oh, definitely Smuff, the man who took out Kepler. Yeah. Oh was, man, the match was so hype. I, I, I still feel sorry for I guy. saw Smuff play. I think it was at, uh, was it at uh, maybe SmashCon? I don't know if mm -hmm. it was SmashCon. Could, could be. Could be. But uh, I, I was. Otherwise, it was outside of uh, Europe. I saw him play, and yeah. oh my goodness, Smuff is a madman. He's clean. Smuff is such a scary and cool Falcon watch. So yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, let's I see him put it, uh, put it to work into doubles. Yes. All right. So oh, I see Lucina taking the lead. Oh man, it's so hard doing Meta Knight combos when there's a teammate just lurking around, especially one that's as fast as Captain Falcon. Yeah, definitely Meta Knight better in singles than in doubles because you, because Meta Knight is really, really perfect with all of his combos. Mm -hmm. And what he really drives for is that he just gets these combos off the top, these ladder combos. And in doubles, you can definitely uh, stop those a lot more easily. How, how, did you see? How did he not get Sage Spike there? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. This is Smash Four. Sometimes you just don't want to question <laughs> things and just uh, accept that it happens. Keep moving on. And wait until it happens again. Because trust me, in Smash 4, that happens twice. Doesn't just happen once. So. Oh man. Yeah, uh, Air Dodge read from Captain Falcon right there. Smurf already putting in uh, the, the guidebook for Captain Falcon into practice. Yes. Oh. Falcon's such a good uh, character at rushdown. So you'll definitely probably see Smurf on the offensive. Uh, yeah. Or what well, that was thinking if I wasn't seeing that he was actually being a little bit defensive here, uh, staying behind and kind of making a shield for his partner, which is yeah. what? What is his partner's name? Oh, DYL. Uh, oh, ooh, the nice, of justice nice. sending Meta Knight out into Dreamland. Yeah, uh, I also saw the Lucinas. They just lurk on the um, uh, on the edge of the platform uh, of the stage. Uh, having a Lucina right there can oh. be such a scary way of a uh, scary barrier to move through. Yeah, yeah. I just remembered. Apparently, there's this ship going on with Metal and Lucina. So oh, these Lucinas, really? they're just fighting for the Metal oh. They just want to like get it. So they're just they're just staring down the Metal like I'm gonna get you. And like, mm. oh. I wouldn't be surprised if we see like these Lucinas just always targeting each other. And there oh, it yeah. is. This Lucina being like Metal Knight's mine. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Better not touch the Metal. Oh. The oh. Downer. Smooth. Falcon. Keeping up the promise of the hype from Captain Falcon. Falcon's such a stylish and explosive character. Smuff showing off right there why that is. Dash mm -hmm. dance a bit. Oh, uh, <laughs> um, I imagine that was a misinput, but he's right back in there. Oh, he went for the read, didn't get it. Oh, oh <laughs> banger! <laughs> Catching Smuff off guard. Oh, man. Did you didn't see Dill just charging there? Uh, forgetting out about Meta Knight just, just standing right there at the side of him. Oh, wasn't, that, wasn't that Meta Knight's uh, teammate that was doing that? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, well, it was still. Was yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, because they control. Uh, I was about oh, to say, yes. that'd be a really good coverage. To have Meta Knight with back air and the Cena doing up smash, it would be really yeah. hard for Smuff to get back. Mm -hmm. And he was taken out as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh man. through. Back throw. Ooh. Ooh, nice down air. That was shield. Really good. Just in oh. case Muff was going to do something. Two one v ones again. Oh, he wants the other knee. It seems that both parties seem to be relatively, uh, relatively combined with just uh, oh, separating and, the and making smash. it two one v ones. But oh, there we go. <laughs> the, pla the platform blessing. I don't know if you ever watched the YouTuber Grapefruit, but he has a beautiful video about uh, combos that happen when you come back from the platform. Yeah. Oh, man. Platforms are just, uh, they do a lot of new things, which is why I'm very excited uh, to see if we're going to get oh, some no. more platforms. <laughs> the random knee. Oh, Smurf, what are you doing? I love it. 
Oh. You know, as Falcon, you just have the spirit. You just need to go for it. Like, yeah. you just need to. Dude. It's not too much about hesitating. It's more about like feeling it and just, mm. you know. Sending a message. Yeah, sending the message oh, and just man. powering through. And no matter what, you just got to go for that style. You just got to go out there and yeah. show who's boss. And show uh, my Falcon is like, so cool. Yeah, yeah, the Meta Knight, the dash in for Meta Knight. Um, and it's always so scary because you know you know what kind of combos that can lead into. Yeah, but Kevin Falcon just stood there and just stood standing grab with a Meta Knight charging at him. Just yeah, to yeah. show him who's boss. Sometimes you don't need to do more than just stand and wait. Oh, even stocks, by the way. Like that Lucina did right there. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> that was a revenge kill right there. <laughs> yeah, just an up throw, well, 170%. You're gonna die sometime, buddy. All right, so oh, Smuff with combo. the optimal play. Oh, oh, he just wants to need to finish it. Yeah. I mean, this is right now. How do you want the main? Yeah, he's only going for knee. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if this is going to come back to bite him. They're just, they're just sampling the menu. They're like, all right, what should we get? <laughs> what should we get? Oh, man. Uh, okay, yeah, but okay. a jank up air is going to do it. Yeah, I don't know what move that was. It looked like like five moves at the same time, but, you know, it won them the game. Uh, even though it wasn't the knee he was looking for. Yeah, sometimes you can't get that exciting play that you want. But yeah. uh, at the very least, you still got uh, one more game or two more games to uh, to do do it. So uh, yeah, we exactly. can still definitely see Smuff. Uh, uh, I believe it's best of three. So yeah, it's uh, best of three. Yeah, the singles are actually best of five. Every, uh, everything was best of five, which is really mm -hmm. cool because best of five is a lot. It's it's a bigger chance to get to know your opponent exactly. and get to really understand exactly. and actually adapt. Like you have a way better chance at making comebacks in best of fives because yeah. that in best of fives you have this ability to adapt later on. Where in best of threes it's over way quicker. Yeah. So singles being best of five is actually really really good and mm -hmm. I really uh, I really appreciated that even pools being best of five yeah I, I was really um, the first time I heard it I, uh, I was kind of concerned you know yeah because it's gonna uh, take too long but yeah we but actually had overtime you know, yeah it yeah. was so good yeah it's like ever uh, um, I've, this is my first time in Switzerland, and Me too. Uh, uh, what I've noticed, one of the things I've noticed, is that there are so many aggressive players here. I come from the Netherlands, where like ho uh, more than half of the people love camping over there. Yeah. And um, to come here and see uh, everybody just running up to me and landing with aerials is refreshing, if albeit a bit scary. I think it's not just because that it's Switzerland and just how they play. I think it's also about the fact that this is one of the last, if not the last, big European Smash Four event before mm. Ultimate comes out. People are here to play. People are not here just to stand and wait. They want to get in. They want to show up. Yeah. And they want to get those results before the new game comes out. Yeah, they want the last few fresh uh, sm uh, uh, Smash clips, you know. Yeah, definitely. Of, uh, your combos to show you what you can, uh, what kind of person you are for Smash Ultimate. I mean, I'm pretty confident I already got a neat Smash uh, yeah. from this tournament, but we're going to have to see if uh, Oh, man. If that By happens. the way, we do have a different character. We have Luigi. Yeah. There's uh, someone clearly conceded that the double person is better Lucina and thought, well, have you seen Luigi? He's just like, all right, you know what? You mm. think that that was spaghetti? I'm going to show you real spaghetti right here. Yeah. And also really good choice because... Oh, the spike. Okay, that smoke actually... Going well. yeah. Smoke going well. Oh, oh. no, the spike oh. smoke going well. <laughs> Stumming him into the ground, yo. Mm. Shout out to NBA 2K with those songs. <laughs> dunking big all the dunk. time. Yeah, big dunks. Oh. This is uh, one of the things I uh, dislike about Luigi in doubles. Not not to uh, diss on the choice of uh, Bill, of course. But um, when Luigi gets off stage, it takes so long to come back. And during all that time, your teammate is all alone. Yeah, definitely. And also, a lot of his combos are really hard to avoid because they go all across the stage. Yeah. And some of his hits are very, very... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh Smuff, that beautiful We're just showing Luigi. off right now. Okay. Not a single stock take boots about the Falcon Punch. J just... Just not even trying to hit someone, but just trying to make a message. I am here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like all my fear not stream. I am here. It's not <laughs> boring anymore. Oh man. <laughs> all all smuff. <laughs> smuff. Uh, With smuff a smile on his face, he yeah. styles through the bracket. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And I think we'll be oh. seeing a lot more of him. The raptor boots. Like oh. <laughs> Did, did the Falcon Lee just go straight up? The or was it me? Sweet. <laughs> well, Damn. it seems like we'll be seeing a whole lot more of Smuff. Yep. And, oh, uh, and I don't, I can't say I mind. Nope, no, no, no. I don't think anybody in this venue minds seeing more Smuff gameplay. Like, as you saw, that was extremely uh, explosive. All it. those knees coming out, the stomps, <laughs> this man does not care.
So uh, mm -hmm. we're definitely going to be seeing him uh, later on yeah. uh, down in doubles and also in singles tomorrow. Uh, oh, considering yeah, that he, he beat Kepler Yeah, he, uh, he's today. still in winners. Yeah, he's still in winners. And he, he actually he said he didn't think that he was going to do this well. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he had a big break. And, uh, like, sometimes you think, oh, a big break means I don't get to experience the game. And yeah, I lose experience. Exactly. I get worse from that. But actually, breaks allow you to fresh up your mind. And uh, when you come mm -hmm. back, you might play way better than you think. Yeah. Yeah, breaks can be really, really good. And some, uh, some top players actually, like, they, ho get, they give themselves breaks on mm -hmm. purpose, just because they know that when they come back, they're refreshed with a new mm -hmm. mindset, a new play style maybe, maybe the same play style, but at least improve. Yeah, I'm uh, a, I totally agree. Yeah, yeah, there, was yeah. this, uh, there was this guy, in, um, I knew uh, Saru, and he had uh, he was a Roy player, mm -hmm. and now Roy isn't the best character in the game, no. um, but uh, he was getting pretty steady results, yeah. but it hadn't been improving for over half a year, Yeah. and he tried uh, just for fun Cloud once, and then he had really good results, and started playing Cloud for like two, uh, uh, two months, and after that, he got sick of Cloud because, you know, it's just a pair, man, he said. And then he switched back to Roy and he got the same good results as he had with Cloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's here's the thing. Here's the thing. New experience. Yeah, yeah, here's the thing. If you play a lower tier character or like a character with, mm -hmm. uh, I shouldn't just say the tier, more or less like the neutral. If their neutral yeah. is lacking, if they don't have many neutral options, yeah. you can sometimes learn a lot from just in friendlies or in money matches or in tournament right, as well. Right. Just play a character that has better neutral. And then when you return to the other character, you'll see options you never thought was safe before. Yeah. But you'll be like, okay, I can grab here. All right, mm -hmm. I can punish him with a back air here. Or uh, yeah. maybe maybe in this situation, I shouldn't try to punish him, you know? Because maybe your character has a solid punish that can work in exactly. certain situations. Exactly. But maybe in another situation, it might not work and it might cost you the game. So playing a lot of different mm -hmm. characters is very good, especially if you don't know a matchup. If you try to play that character and learn how to play the character, you'll start to notice your weaknesses as you play them. And then you might be able to do better against that character. A lot of players have done that. And it's worked out for a lot of players. Exactly. And that's so. exactly the reason uh, why uh, whenever you're out of bracket, yeah. uh, you don't just go home no, and no, 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 uh, no, no, like, no. oh, well, no, no. nothing to do here for no, me anymore. No, no, Friendlies. No. That's where it's at. Friendlies, money matches, oh, uh, watch the stream. Yeah. Watching top players play on the screen can help you so much because you learn a lot more new options. You see mm -hmm. how they use. Maybe they're playing the same character as you. Maybe they're in the same situation as you. But they do a different. Uh, they do do a different. Have a different approach to yeah. it, and that actually allows them to win the set. And you can see from that. Okay, maybe I should have done that in that situation. And then the mm -hmm. next time you're in that situation, who knows? You might be able to do what they did and win. So mm -hmm. definitely observe. Play people and just meet people, you know. Like yeah. I see, uh, I see, I see the chat. Uh, Yox from uh, the Switch, uh, Switch scene uh, mm -hmm. asking how I feel about this uh, this scene right now, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's definitely one thing that's also very uh, yeah. cool about this uh, game. Even if we have our moments when we talk down our characters or mm -hmm. when people get really mad at Bayonetta, yeah. even if we have those moments, we're still a community. We're still talking mm -hmm. with each other, and yeah. we can still just walk over to each other and not mm -hmm. know any, no, not know each other at all, and just be like, "Hey, wanna play?" Yeah. And then you get you, you get to know so many people if you just go and ask them. Oh man, I I, I love the Smash community, uh, like in tournaments in general, because uh, sometimes uh, when I um, watch videos online, you know. Uh, Rewatch Smash Chat because that's also how you learn. Yeah. Um, then uh, I see uh, in the comments, I see all these people salty about either Bayo winning, you know, or uh, salty about people being salty about Bayo. Yeah. Or the, the chain goes on. Yeah. yeah uh, of but uh, when, uh, whenever you meet people in real life, the toxicity levels is way down. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like the people who don't actually know uh, the Smashers in real life. Yeah. Uh, um, I, they're missing out, man. They're missing out. Yeah, yeah. Tournaments are not just about going to play. It's also just being mm -hmm. there for the experience. I can tell you, every single tournament oh, that I've been to where I felt like, even if I felt like I did horrible, yeah. and I'm like, okay, I, I can't. I, I can. I, I mm -hmm. I, even tournaments where I got really, really down. Yeah. The best experience and the best moments that I remember, the most memorable things from that tournament, yeah. is watching some eight. Seeing people oh, scream around me yeah. and seeing that upset. I remembered Albion 3 where I watched Loading win against oh. Pelly. Oh man, it was I so kid good. You not, that oh. made my heart race. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I, I wasn't playing. Yeah. But it still made my heart race because mm -hmm. when you are there, it's something different watching on a stream. Watching a stream is hype as well. Yeah. Imagine being there, oh. seeing it with your own eyes. I sometimes record it, but mm -hmm. honestly, don't record it, guys. The stream's being recorded. Don't mm -hmm. record it. Watch it live with your own eyes. It is an experience you do not want to miss out on. So, say, Dragon, I have a question for you. Yes. Do you remember your very first tournament? My very first tournament? Yes, Did I do. Did you go Oto? 
Uh, actually, I won one game. You won more than me. <laughs> because I was so totally destroyed. But um, afterwards, I was uh, just, you know, horsing around a bit with other yeah. smashes. And it was like, uh, uh, we went into eight player smash uh, at one moment with like uh, people from the very top and me. So, you know, and everything in between. And uh, e even though, you know, uh, well, before I had some serious, semi-serious friendly matches where I tried to learn stuff. Yeah. But uh, it was like nine o'clock in the afternoon, uh, almost at night, you know. Yeah. And uh, we uh, all picked Bowser and to went to regular Battlefield. Oh. And that, I, I think that's one of the experiences that made me just stay in the Smash community. Yeah. That you can just say, well, you can just say like, hey, what would happen if we all picked Bowser and went to the smallest stage we could yeah. be on? Yeah. And it was so much fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My god, we, we quickly found out that the best strategy was just jumping up and uh, doing the Bowser bomb. Yeah. There was just a rain of meteors from Bowser down bees yeah. all the time. <laughs> it, was, it was beautiful. It was yeah. beautiful. I also remember my one of my most memorable uh, moments uh, mm -hmm. from Beast 7, which is an old, old, mm -hmm. old tournament. My yeah. first out of uh, country European uh, tournament that I went to. Yeah. I didn't do, do too good, but one of my most memorable moments from that, uh, um, that tournament was actually mm -hmm. just, uh, it wasn't even like an uh, official event. It was yeah. uh, uh, NVDM Shadowclaw, or NVDM, he's calling himself now, mm -hmm. Marimba, whatever he's gonna call it. Shout out to him, Rain and Terrain from Denmark. Yeah. And he's the owner of an amiibo called Murph. Murph, <laughs> okay. He's a broken amiibo, yeah. which uh, defies all logic. <laughs> uh, if you hit him during his power shield, it explodes. <laughs> and, what? Uh, he's uh. <laughs> well, wait. Le doesn't don't level nine CPUs always power shield? He is not level. He's not. He's not level nine. He's an. Okay. He's, he's a level fifty amiibo that uh, kind of scares us sometimes because he seems sentient. <laughs> he does oh combos. No. He goes for down air off stage. What? <laughs> yeah. But the oh most memorable moment was uh, having players from Beast mm -hmm. uh, in Beast Seven play against them and then actually watch it on stream even if it wasn't streamed yeah. just watch it on the big stage yeah. and also playing falcon uh, falcon dittos with uh, i think oh. it was uh uh his name is favorite now mm -hmm. uh, but uh, silent doom was his name back then oh uh, silent we doom yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? i played falcon dittos with him mm -hmm. that was s so much fun and yeah. it wasn't an official event it wasn't anything like that it really was just going out there and trying something new. Sometimes you just wanna mm. go up to somebody and say, hey, what if we do a Falcon Ditto yeah. on the stream setup, eight player smash with items. Oh yeah. Like, like, or something like that. Or walking mm. over and say like, all right, uh, you wanna do a special smash or uh, mm. let's uh, let's do like some weird game mode or something. Yeah. Uh, like we, we are having a tournament right now and uh, Smash is a beautiful game to play competitively. But you, you have to remember that this is also an excellent party game. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely, definitely. I have this one game mode mm. where you go three people yeah. in a team against uh, a big uh, big enemy uh, like Bowser, DDD, yeah. or mm. uh, Donkey Kong. Yeah. And uh, then you basically have a team attack off. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you set the computer to level one. Yeah. And then you do your best to obliterate the <laughs> one CPU. And the wow. crazy. I remember somebody doing like, we did like three Luigi misfires in a row. <laughs> oh, that sounds yeah. so good. So, really, Smash uh, in competitive play as well, mm -hmm. it's just about not thinking linear. It's about thinking. What not? What can I do? What can't I do? Yeah, yeah. Out of the box. Yeah, thinking out of the box and just yeah. trying. Just try things out. If it's mm. friendlies, don't put pressure on yourself. Go for things. Try out mm. uh, new options you haven't fought before. Try new characters. Yeah. All of that because you might end up finding something that's gonna stick with you and change your entire perspective on Smash. So By the way, it seems that our next contestants, uh, our next doubles match, is gearing up. Yes, uh, we have Purple H on stage. Oh, Purple H. He's seated first, right? Uh, or singles? Oh, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, Purple H, don't mess with this man. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> awesome, awesome Slayer from uh, from Germany. Yeah. Been pulling up so many names. Probably one of the best clouds, if not the best cloud in Europe. Exactly. Amazing player. So it's uh, going to be really mm -hmm. cool to see what he's going to do. Yeah, uh, uh, let's see. His team partner, Fox, is is it one of his uh, German fellows? I, I have to believe it is. I believe it is. Uh, is we can't really see the tax right now. Uh, all right, but I know there is the yeah. Luigi from Switzerland, right? Oh, right. I don't know what his tag is. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Well, is he Carbido 64? No, I don't could know. Could be. Uh, 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 you see, the, um, every team has had the uh, opportunity to give themselves uh, a very funny name. 
and that's really great for uh, you know the personality of the team. Yeah. Uh, the only downside is that um, you don't uh, know who's playing. <laughs> no, unless you see, unless they hear their tag is you know actually their name. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, it can um, it can cause some difficulties. Definitely. Uh, especially since uh, you know I'm from uh, we're both from oh. our country. Oh, that's Anregon. He did it to Anregon. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, Lu uh, perhaps it is the Swiss, uh, Swiss Luigi. Oh, oh the we Mario got Bros. Mario and Luigi. Oh, the Chinese maple syrup. The Chinese maple. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And Edgar and Sabin. Oh, this is their first names, I believe. Then. Uh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> but the the dream fe uh, the dream fiend team coming up. The Mario Brothers, both in red. Oh, I love it. Uh, I have uh, my static partner uh, plays Diddy Kong and I play Donkey Kong. We, we're Team Monkey. I love. A team, team. Yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. had the, we had this team in Denmark. They're done now, but they mm. used to call themselves the Mario Brothers or well, or the Plumbers, because yeah. uh, they were brothers oh. and they were named Red and Green Twin Gamer. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, and they were oh, playing when, when they played the public in Raffle Ultimate, but uh, they were all playing doubles together, and they were just the Mario Brothers. And the thing oh, is, Luigi going in. is Cloud dead? Oh, is he dead? Oh, he's, he's dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> Luigi just ran in and thought like, wait, Cloud, Cloud you're just starting with two stocks this game. Oh, it's the concrete. Oh no, box for the coverage. Oh, then again. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh no, oh, no, 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 don't, that's don't a dead go ball. down there. Don't go down there. That's so unsafe. Luigi's, uh, the flush is so real. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. He um, doesn't need the Polter Gust to just sweep yeah. him up from the floor, man. Oh man, so, um, it seems the blue team is starting with two stocks left. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Perhaps this is uh, yeah. part of a deal they his, made in His pro. name is 64, so I'm pretty sure he is Carbono 64. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. So I heard about him when I came here. Uh, apparently, uh, mm -hmm. up and around player. And as you can see right here, definitely showing why Luigi is not somebody you should sleep on. No, no, no. I, I remember, like, Elegant making Luigi popular. Yeah. And, um, everybody just understand now. Yeah, everybody. They, they're woke. They're woke now. They're, they're totally woke. Uh, then again, you know, um, with Cloud's finishing touch, the team is never out of the game. Absolutely true. Cloud's finishing touch giving him basically four mini final smashes, but the up air is also enough because that's super yeah. strong. This hits really, really well, and yeah. it's a really good juggling tool and just catch it. Um, I was also surprised to see that the Mario Bros. both uh, managed to live above 130% already, which is not a percent that I regularly see at uh, the, the middleweights of Mario Bros. is walk around, especially against such aggressive characters as Cloud and Fox. Oh, oh, oh no, not god, again! No, no, oh my god! Oh no! Oh, down B, man. Down B. All yeah. day, every day. Cloud is one of those, like, he is, like, maybe, like, what favorite himself top five in the game or one yeah. of the best characters, but he is a character where that it really depends on the situation. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. oh, oh my god. Oh, the, oh save. the save. The save. That is some nice teamplay right there. The Come power through. of friendship pulls through. Yes. Uh oh, man. Verbal H and uh, Sabin are not oh, no. done oh. yet. The mash, the mash saving Luigi right there. Uh, Cl uh, Cloud's climb has her spike, man. It, it catches so many people off guard. Yeah. Oh, down spike. Oh, blue team is on their uh, final two stocks, and Cloud is being Oh, he went for misfire. Oh, there goes Cloud limit. I kid you not, he went for side B. That was definitely a misfire uh, attempt. Oh, man. Seems like Lady Luck was not on his side today. Then again, you know, who needs Lady Luck if you have down B? That's the thing, man. I'm really gonna be careful with Luigi off stage because uh, especially both of these characters, Cloud and Fox, really easy to edge guard if you just get them in that uh, specific situation. Yeah, exactly. On stage though, they are monsters. So what Blue Team needs to do, they need to capitalize more on keeping the stage control instead of going to the ledge so much. Yeah. Just keep the stage and uh, then from there they can get something really well going because they are yeah. both... Uh, Cloud and Fox actually pretty good uh, team, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, uh, Fox can be super aggressive and uh, set up for things and Cloud has some of the strongest finishers in the game. But the team is no more as Cloud now has to yes. uh, deal with the legendary duo on his own. And that's not gonna happen. Oh, let's go. The power of friendship or brotherhood, the I believe. Brotherhood, the power of uh, mm -hmm. the family power. Right the family through. bond pulls the through. The family bond pulls through, yeah. I, I love seeing this, man. Like, yeah, uh, the people in singles that are like absolute monsters don't have to be these same kinds of monsters in doubles. No, no, they no. You sometimes no, no. have these crazy people who have been teaming for years and years. Yeah. And they know exactly what the other person is thinking. And then the power of friendship, or brotherhood in this case, <laughs> you know, uh, pulls through and you see those crazy combos or yeah. um, just coverage coming on. 
Oh. Definitely. I, I mean, like, Amarda in Melee, he quit uh, singles, like, completely in yeah. Melee. Yeah, he did. But he, he's still playing doubles. Yeah. That doesn't mean just because he quit singles, he's not mm -hmm. a monster anymore. He's still a monster. Yeah. So, like, there are definitely those uh, teams out there. And I also know there's a team uh, in some uh, part of America called uh, Kirby's Inside Store. A yeah. Kirby and Bowser player. And oh, I also really? think they're brothers. And they are very popular because they just showcase how interesting doubles can be. Oh man, I, I love that. Um, you might have missed that uh, right there, but uh, Mario went for the down throw, uh, but was quickly approached by um, by Purple H who switched to Bayonetta, by the way. Yes. Uh, and he thought like, uh, I'm going to have to shield from this. So uh, he didn't combo at all. But uh, Luigi was right there for him to finish the combo for like 20 uh, or 30% damage. Yeah. Oh, the point oh, match catching up there. Right there. Already taking another lead. And remember, yeah. this is best of three. So uh, if yeah, they win this, definitely. Um, Purple Age. And uh, who was it? Purple Age and. I don't know. Uh, we can check the bracket. Actually. Yeah, we can check the bracket. But anyway, the blue team will be going to lose it. Oh, accidental uh, team attack back air for Fox. But oh, Luigi combos. Oh, 40%. Uh, couldn't go on. Scary Bayo. They're not definitely <laughs> working out here, though. Like, uh, Luigi's a B gets punished by Mario. <laughs> not exactly the plan, I believe. But no, no, no. Those happens in the doubles. You just yeah. gotta live on and just remember to just uh, stay composed. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you, hit your, sometimes you hit your teammate, but whatever, man. Like, yeah. you're, you're not dead. It was only a back air. Yeah. If you do manage to kill your teammate, though, then you should yeah. probably, uh, you probably try to have slow to buy down. Dinner. <laughs> yeah, it's also about like team. Teams is also about both people being aggressive is not the work. No, it's all right. about knowing uh, what role uh, you each have as a teammate and yeah. uh, not uh, blocking the uh, blocking your teammate. Like. Situational awareness. Yes. Go for combos that benefits the team, but don't just try to combo somebody who your teammate already has covered. Oh, uh, is Luigi edge guarding Bayo? No, no Luigi's just dead. Well, he made it to 131%, so that's respectable. And also, they're a stock ahead again. Like, Red Team has been consistently, consistently in lead, albeit not by much, though. You know, one Bayo combo from 0%, maybe, well, not 0%, but... Uh, can quickly change the tides, and we all know how that happens. Oh man, Mario in kill percent, but hanging on. Bayo uh, as well, by the way. Yeah, definitely, but Bayo can really use that rage to something. Mm -hmm. It's always important to think, even if you are in kill percentage, yeah. never forget to try to uh, oh. get up, take up oh. the Oh, that was actually a save, I think. Oh man. That looked like a save. Yeah, maybe you should have. Uh, oh, oh well, never mind, smash. got him anyway. Yep. The Yeeha coming through. Yeah. Oh man, the hard hats from uh, the Plumber Bros. Always Our Chinese dangerous. maple syrup. <laughs> what even is that reference? Yeah, I don't know. It's must be. Oh! oh! I was waiting. Oh! <laughs> oh. He gets up smash oh, in and return. It's hot. But, you know, it was all worth it. it. It's now two versus one. Alright, so the Italian Plumber is versus Bayonetta. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Luigi has a second stock as well. Now, definitely, Bayo is oh. one of the characters who would oh, be no, able to Oh no, save your brother! Oh, well, that didn't exactly work as planned. No, Bayonetta definitely oh, one of the oh characters. Oh dear. Bayonetta definitely one of the characters who would uh, make uh, this able to happen! Ooh, yep. Oh no, Mario, Mario, please! Oh dear lord. Her combos just allow her to make comebacks like this, even if she is outnumbered. <laughs> so the... Like, it's oh, really important! Oh! 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 oh. 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 Oh, oh okay. they're still living. They're still they're living. They're still living. Okay, okay. Okay, I gotta, I gotta uh, keep my composure because it's really hard <laughs> to not just scream into the mic. I gotta remember, I have a job to do here. Right, right. Uh, All right, so let's see here. Getting back to the stage. It, Doesn't it, get punished. Forgets the grab. It's so hard for uh, oh. Mario and Luigi to keep up with Bayo in the air. She's so oh, much faster. Oh no! Here comes the combos. Oh, Mario Yuppie. saves. Oh, oh no! Oh, he's no. still living. He's, he's still living. How do we get the? How does Bayo get to live this long? She's super light. She just has that privilege. She just oh, oh but the up, up smash. smash. Oh man. Beautiful. What a game, what a game. Team Chinese Maple Syrup. Team Takes Chinese Maple Syrup. Purple Age and his teammate. Oh man, Edgar I feel and so Sabine. bad. I feel so bad not knowing the other teammate. Well it's like, oh it's Purple Age. I don't know who you are though. I don't know who you are. Yeah. Just go away with you. <laughs> it's, I feel so bad because every player is like remarkable, you know? Yeah. 
Uh, if we just knew the names, we we shout them out as well. Yeah, definitely. So uh, mm -hmm. definitely shout outs to all players on the stage. We exactly. Just, uh, exactly. Know the names. So. Uh, and uh, something tells me that uh, further on in the bracket, in losers, we might see Edgar and Sabine again, or Sabine, Sabine, Zabin, Zabin, Zabin. Oh, <laughs> zapping. You come We're here. We're zapping all uh, over the place. You come, come here, come here. I'm, I'm zapping you. <laughs> like, uh, like uh, you try, you try to punish me. I'm gonna zap you. Yeah, Robin, like zapping your life total. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was like, if he, like considering he played Fox, he's like probably oh. zap like without uh, right. smash. Fox illusion or uh, without oh, smash. Right. smash. Yeah, yeah, like like zap. Uh, 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 yeah. I don't know. I get it. I get it. That could work. That could work. I don't yeah, know. Uh, you never, you, that you never know the origin of people's names. No, right. Uh, it's really, really weird. Like, uh, mm -hmm. for example, Purple H. Yeah. Purple is the color in H. Like, you know, there, there are some people who just have a name that uh, some people take their uh, name from the first gamer tag online. You yeah. Know? And honestly, if I did that, that'd be a re uh, I'd be Lord Preble. I mean, your name is something you'd like think that's not serious. Yeah. But at the same time, like, I really like how you're not like that guy who names himself Lucario. And place yeah. cloud. Yeah. Oh man, I was so confused. You have the um, the English play, uh, player uh, DK Ho. Yeah. And I met him, and I was like, Oh, you play DK as well? And he was no, like, I'm No, I play Cheek. Because his initials apparently are D and K, and his yeah. last name is Ho. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, like uh, rip to all people named Ho, by the way. Oh. But <laughs> <laughs> well, um, rip to all the people who name Ho. At least you got a career in something. <laughs> yeah. Esports. Esports. <laughs> Not talking about that here. We're no. just saying something. No, we're nothing specific. We're all esports. You know, yeah. well, we're we're gonna we're gonna let this happen like how you mm. play Smash. We're so gonna let you figure it out. Yeah. So where where did where did your name come from, Greek? My name. Uh, actually, it's a combination of this is really really funny because it's a combination of dragon. Mm, I got that much. And free. Free. Oh, you're a free dragon. Yeah. Or you're. But you're before I meant like free to be like I I've always looked at my personality like very like out there and very special uh. and. Uh, very weird in a way. I'm mm. like always said like, oh, I'm the special guy. I'm the weird guy. I'm mm. like people. I haven't really been doing good socially. Now I am though. Like, no, you know, well, just going to Smash tournaments has kind of helped me. Just being uh, able to mm. uh, go up to people and say hey. And uh, it's so them. easy to start a conversation. Yeah, it's both in into Smash. The same thing, you, know? you both know the same thing. If 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 it, if it isn't Smash, but just something you love to do and something you're passionate about. Yeah. Going to a community, going to an event that has a lot of people who are passionate about the same thing. You can get friendships like this. Like mm -hmm. you can get to talk to people so quickly just because you do or love the same thing. Yeah, I, um, there are a lot of socially awkward people that just kind of blossomed a bit through Smash. Yeah. Zifri, Zifri. Zifri? <laughs> uh, apparently there was an important message. Uh, Zifri, 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 we Zifri, 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 uh, Zifri. For any of you who it may concern. Yes. Um, but um, you know there are definitely some do's and uh, and don'ts. Um, I, I've met some. Uh, I, there was a legend of a guy named uh, Rusty Rick. I've never seen him again, but he uh, walked into my scene, in our, into our scene, our weekly, and uh, he uh, he looked around and he said, "All right, so who of you guys is Donkey Kong?" And I was like, uh, uh, "I am." And he says, "Well, I'm going to show you how to play Donkey Kong." And I'm like, uh, "Sure, want to play?" And he just like sat down and played a match with me, and uh, I was kind of beating him. And then he admitted to me, "Yeah, I don't really know the grab combos yet." And I'm like, uh, okay. Uh, and after that, he just carried over a bit and just hung around. He went 0 2 in bracket. Uh, but uh, the weird thing about it is, um, he uh, kept um, randomly patting uh, the good players on the back when they win won in like top eight and stuff, uh, as if they were friends for years. And they, like, S1 and Ramsey just look back uh, like, uh, thanks, I guess. And I mean, I appreciate the sentiment of, uh, of really wanting to belong, but um, also just uh, don't make it uh, don't make it weird like that. Don't yeah. be that guy. Nope. It's very important. Like, all right. So there's two messages in this. Yeah. Don't uh, don't like uh, what do you call it? Don't, uh, don't, don't like think you're big before you've don't, proven it. Don't don't force something too fast. Be patient. Yeah. yeah. Don't force a friendship. Don't mm -hmm. force a connection. Yeah. And second, don't be a gym. Yeah, don't be a gym, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and what is a gym? That's someone who walks up, first tournament, says I'm the best, and then gets really mad when they lose. Yeah. And doesn't understand that everything is not as, they, as it seems like. Yeah, you know? they, uh, like I beat all the people on my block, so I'm the best player in the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, buddy. That's not how it works. No, like, or like, never like, it's also just like not in general, if it's your first time in general. 
Yeah, be just, humble. Yeah, be humble. And don't judge before you've experienced the player or before you're like, for someone you play against somebody or, and you're like, I'm gonna, gonna beat this guy easily. Mm -hmm. If he ends up whooping you. You're so mad. Like, oh, you're so mad. Yeah, like, you should you should never judge somebody. You should always go mm -hmm. all out, never sleep on anybody because yeah. you might not know it, but even if it's the guy's first tournament, it he might, might he, just he might just be PGR or in like five oh, yeah. months or PR in your country in like two days after mm -hmm. that event. I had this guy called Melly. Yeah, uh, he came like uh, he played in our scene like three months, mm -hmm. doing okay or something like that. I didn't really yeah. know too much about him. Then he comes to uh, a Danish tournament called Mansion. Yeah, and he uh, <clears throat> he has to play against me. Yeah, and I'm, like, All right, I'm gonna get, get this guy because uh, I'm new. I'm, I'm yeah, there. yeah, it's a new guy. I, I, I'm gonna show him the worst. He, he beats me free too. Oh, and I, I, I'm so down. Oh. I'm so down. So down. You know what he proceeds to do? He hmm? proceeds to beat he beat number one in our country, <laughs> not once but twice. Grand finals reset. First five winners finals. Then you free awesome in grand finals. <laughs> oh man, that that's the kind of you story you never you know. Hear. You never know who might be walking into that door. You might not know that might be your country's next number one PR player. You I, don't know. I once almost got body by a twelve year old. And it, it wasn't me. Kids are good. Kids are good. Oh, okay. I talk, oh, let's, uh, Sonics and Nier yeah. versus Monado Burak. Oh, Pewix and Sir Knight. Uh, I've been playing with uh, Pewix and Sir Knight um, for quite a bit uh, these few days. And I've got to say, uh, first of all, wonderful people. Um, and uh, secondly, Sir Knight um, only plays sword characters, hence the name. And he's taking out his joke, I believe. Oh man, and that's very that's very uh, true to his name. Sir yeah, Knight. I, I love it when that's just you know, like um, like Pewix by example. It's it's a good name, but it doesn't uh, you know make a statement about which character you want to pick. And yeah. of course that's uh, really useful if you want to switch characters. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, with so a name like Sir Knight, you really have a theme going. Everyone knows. All right, this is what you stand for. Sword character. And he's putting it to good use, man. Yeah, definitely. So I really love how sometimes you can take a name, and then if it's so closely resembled to another name, yeah. you just give them as an, uh, use that as a nickname. Yeah, exactly. And really funny, it might, I don't know if they know each other, but is Sir John and Sir Knight related? Um, or like, not, that I know, not but related, but like, are they like, uh, are they like childhood friends or something, maybe? Might be, like, might be. Sir in both of their names. Yeah. And like, we have Sir John, mm -hmm. like, that's, yeah. that's like, it sounds like a knight name, and then we have Sir Knight. Yeah, I think uh, Sir Knight is French, and isn't Sir John English, or am I mistaken in that? I don't know, maybe they're close friends, you could know? Be, could be. You don't need to be the same, you need to be really, really good friends. No. One, of my be one of my best friends is actually a show player, and he's from Netherlands. Oh, really? Yeah, shout out oh, to... Oh, uh, Nintendo? No, no, Nintendo. no, no, no it's... No, uh, a nin well, it's Crimson J Striker. Oh, well, uh, I so don't shout know out, that name. So shout out to him. If you're watching right now, yes. If you're watching, you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Without, I wouldn't be here without you, man. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's get back to yeah. set. But netplay is wonderful thing, man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you have these uh, hidden threats that just lurk about on uh, online. Oh, by the way, these stocks are going remarkably. Yep. Look at this. Oh man, choke up in the, uh, choke up in the air, trying to land. Shulk is actually, I think he's better in uh, doubles than in singles because his long range just allows him to uh, converse off uh, his teammates hits so easily and also it covers a lot of uh, distance and in doubles, the more ground you cover and the more options that you can limit, yeah. the better it is for the entire team. Uh, but I also really like the team of, um, uh, let's see, Sonics and Mir because uh, heavy characters such as Ike, um, they uh, often have trouble against a faster character because they get boxed out and stuff. But when you team it with Sonic... He uh, can just cover that for you with his speed. Yeah. Like, um, oh, every small fortunate combo team that kill. Sonic does gets uh, a mini finisher with uh, the giant sword of Ike. Yeah. And every time Ike gets comboed, Sonic just rushes in for, uh, for the rescue. And just makes it so much harder to uh, take advantage of Ike's slowness. Unfortunate uh, teammate kill from, uh, oh. from Mewtwo, though. Don't want to see that happen. No, p weeks. Uh, but we see the combo of fast and strong uh, working out right here as, oh, grab combo from Ike, pressure from Sonic. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 they're doing the thing. Oh. They're, doing, they're doing the thing. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. that is what you call a clip. Oh, I, I must imagine that these people team a lot more than, than just often because that is not a combo you can just pick up on the fly. That was legendary. Oh man, 
I also really like that for the sake of the stream, they didn't let it uh, just uh, make it spend an entire minute doing that. Yeah. Because you can. I mean, you, you, uh, he, he knew that, like, they knew that. They've been doing this before, so they knew that was going to kill. Yeah. Like, they knew it. You know, when, when do Ice Smash attacks ever not kill? <laughs> Let's be honest. When you miss them. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. And that is when you'll get killed as I <laughs> Yeah. But, you know, it's a guy that's almost literally swinging a tree around. Yeah, basically. Oh, power shield into grab. You two like, oh, I have safe aerials uh, near backs to differ. I'd, I'd imagine the only character who survived was Mr. Game Watch because he's so flat that he might be able to avoid it. Oh, yeah. But the problem is, after getting hit by that, you'd be Mr. Game Watch. Yeah, exactly. Like, just... Uh, all, all near his opponents end up being 2D. Yeah. Oh, Sonic going way high. Oh, I love this. Like, uh, Shulk has to take a long time to recover and near things are... Okay, then I'll just go two on one with my buddy, buddy Sonic here. That's the kind of team play I want to see. He's ready? Oh, missed the aerial. Yeah, being able to cover for each other and being able to just be ready for uh, what, <laughs> whatever your teammate what is. Uh, oh, what a counters. Everybody's countered. <laughs> Why doesn't Sonic have a counter? Well, Why doesn't you know, everyone have a counter? <laughs> you know might what? as well do it. Smash ultimate parrying mechanic, everybody has counter. I understand that, like, okay, we got a uh, Fire Emblem character's counter, okay, makes sense. Oh, we got Protein counter, oh, it's a King K rule, why? Yeah, he has a belly, so he gets the counter, right? Yeah. That's how things work. I would think it makes so much more iconic just to give him, like, a belly smash or something. Yeah. A belly slam. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, man. oh, um, let's. It's still going even, I want to say. Holy <laughs> charge force smash control. I was about to say Team X is in the lead, but it keeps going even, man. Oh, Sonic oh, Sonic can go for his follow-up with uh, choking away. Even the shield Monado. Oh. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, okay. Nice up here. Oh yeah, let's go. I up smash meaty hitbox. If if I should give Son Sonics in here anything, I'd probably just call them destroyers or something like that. Yeah. No 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 no, uh, Punishers. Yeah. Punishers. Because that's what they're doing so well on. Like They're just covering for each other, and whenever they have the opportunity to get a punish, they're just ready, and they're just there. Yeah. And, for example, it would be like so easy to hit your opponent or like uh, come SD because your opponent hit you or something. You know? <laughs> what a back hair! <laughs> he knew where it was going. The yeah. ball out was, it was great. Yeah. But um, I also want to note uh, that near situational awareness, like, um, almost every time when he didn't have Mewtwo on him or like Silk, uh, he has been so ready for uh, to follow up uh, Sonic's um, grabs because Sonic also has this uh, wind up with a grab, you know, there with the back throw. Yeah. You just uh, whoop, 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 and then you uh, do the aerial. So yeah. it's a little countdown you can do as be being the eye. Yeah, it's really good to use it uh, to time your hits. Mm -hmm. And also really good because Sonic can just get anywhere on the stage so quickly. Yeah. So as long as Nier is ready for it, he can definitely get a follow-up from basically any hit. Like, yeah. Except those really, really like Ooh, big yeah. knockback hits. I saw that down air coming. Piwix, he loves his down airs, man. He, yeah, Nier uh, too loves like uses his down airs so dangerous. So like, yeah, no, it's so no good, wonder. So fast. And combined with a double jump, he can be anywhere just to spike you. Yeah. Uh, I've seen Piwix. Whoa, go. does up tilt. Ooh. Yeah, I'm still yeah. super good shield, out of shield option. Mm. Oh, we've got Monado, Shulk with Smash Art. Mm. Oh, oh, the down air with the platform covering him. Platform saves once again. Yep. Oh, oh and that's oh. the up tilt. Right, Smash Monado, Shulk. You're so oh. What? <laughs> uh. Uh, Shulk's counter actually broken, does not work. Oh, there we go. Oh. I think maybe he got the, like, the, the quick hit, he might have hit him. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man, he won the spike. He won so bad. This is not looking too good. Oh, I think he's dead. Oh, yeah. Well, he had to wait too long. Oh! Nier was too far away. Oh! Okay! Oh, dear. L luckily, Nier has no stop. This is not over. This is not over. This is not over by a long shot. Like, Shield Monado's shirt, the uh, Shield, shirt, Shield, can live to such dangerous defense. The only thing he has to do now is not get grabbed by... Oh, there we go then. <laughs> he got grabbed by something, just as I was saying. Yes, commentator's curse. Always yeah. works, man. But the only yeah. true combo you should look out for when you're not playing the game. Yeah, but you know, I make it sound oh. easier than it is. Not get, don't get grabbed by Sonic, a character that's literally so fast it can cross the stage in a quarter of a second. Yeah, and you even know? if you try to like me punish him on the shield or try to grab him on the shield, mm. like he can just run away and grab you from the like. Yeah. It's so dangerous against him. Yeah, you get one grab once, back throw, down throw, whatever. Ike's there to sw uh, swing his log back in your face. 
And with that, I think Sonics and Nier are also uh, moving on to, what was it, winners' quarters? Uh, I think at least winners. Let me get the science. Uh, the smartphone. The smartphone, i.e. Uh, the bracket. The greatest achievement in human history. Yeah. I, I love you're able you're able to do everything on it but it also takes everything away from you if you just look at it like 24 7 like it's been a trouble I've been struggling with yep. uh, a lot of people are doing that yeah and uh, it's a really great uh, practice oh, to actually oh try to uh, stay like uh, focused and not uh, like get distracted by it yeah. because that's one thing you really want to practice in smash is fo focusing focusing is very important exactly exactly especially in teams you don't just got you, oh, you also got your opponent and that. Yeah. You know, your teammate. And There's so much happening on the screen, There's you so can't much. autopilot. Yeah, like commentating doubles is not something you just do. Like, I've been training for a long time to do it, and I still have a hard time doing it. Like, yeah. and playing doubles is a whole nother task. Oh, man. I remember the, the first time I started doubles, I made so many team kills. You know, it, it isn't easy as Donkey Kong with the humongous hitboxes I have. Oh, yeah, of course. But still, that was not okay. Let's see. Um, the... Uh, this was already winners round three, I believe. And Sonics and Nier then move out. Yeah, indeed, they move on to winners quarters. Uh, so I think that's, is that Hetchion? Oh, do we have Team France? Is that Hetchion Hamaka? Might be, might be. Oh, by the way, Team Truck size hitboxes that you uh, oh. saw before. Oh, wait, wait, is that? The winners quarters. I think that's, is that, is that Amaragon? Amaragon? No, Amaragon. Amaragon. Oh. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Is it? Let's see. That's Andragon! Oh, my God. In the flesh. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get some Falco gameplay, I think. Oh, let's go, Falco. I think. I think. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe Cloud. I don't know. I hope we're going to see Falco. We all hope we're going to see Falco. Yeah. He's so bad, but he's so cool. Oh, man. Every time I use his up B, I'm like, why can't it just go like 10 pixels further, man? I mean, why does that be like that? Well, yeah, because like this game wasn't like if it was patched more, maybe like as like that's one thing I'm very excited for Ultimate about. Yeah. Sakura is listening to us. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody who's developing uh, is listening to us, mm -hmm. and they're all preparing um, to make the greatest Smash game ever. Because of that, they're fixing yeah. it on the go. Um, mm -hmm. Contrary to what uh, players are saying about it, like top players. So it's being made to be competitive. Yeah. So that's really cool, but I definitely oh, understand oh, yeah. it. Like, as, as a Falcon main, I must say, though, like, he's just being used wrong in some situations. Like, I don't think he's that bad, but at the same time, he's not good. But It seems that it is indeed Hedgeon and Homika, by the way. Yeah, Hedgeon and Homika versus Anragon and... Oh, man. Uh, Sonic and Rosalina in the same team. Or no, is it Sonic and Sheik? Do both teams have a Sheik? Oh, dear. Oh, they're double chic. They're double chic. Oh no! Oh my God! You will never escape the combo. So if we go to Sheikville, they'll have twice the advantage. Oh no! <laughs> like uh, all props to a team that has uh, Sonic and uh, and Rosina. One person you can't catch, and the other person you can get to. But uh, when they get their hands on them, like there's just a vortex there of two cheeks that you can't ever uh, escape. Cheek is. Very, very dangerous in doubles because yeah. considering how fast she is and considering how she converts in singles, in doubles it's just way better. And like, it's always super scary in singles, so mm -hmm. it becomes so much more dangerous in doubles. Yeah. But then again, they're going to have to show the uh, situational awareness that you were talking about. That's so hard in doubles. Um, when yes. you're playing double sheep, that's twice more so because you're both moving super fast. Um, more all over the place, trying to combo things. Knowing when one person's combo ends and when the other can start is such a hard thing to do. Yeah, and also, the thing is, you don't have that much range as a cheat. No, uh, and, exactly. the and the projectile you have, while it may be good, uh, it, you have to charge it up. And yeah. every, every single charge projectile means that you have to take your time away to charge it, which means you might lose a uh, different advantage stage you could have uh, gotten yeah. in charge. Exactly, and you also have to uh, keep an account that uh, when needles hit Luma, they are almost completely invalidated. Yeah, and with Sonic, such as a fast character, hitting him with needles is not always the easiest task. No, no exactly. So what they want to do is they want to use their oppressive combo game and just uh, the speed of uh, the character uh, to get around quickly, converse to each other, and then help each other to kill faster. Because that's one thing, Sheik doesn't kill too fast. No, with another Sheik on the field, she has a better opportunity to at least kill 
a little bit earlier, so it's possible for her to be a little bit more consistent yeah, than she but is. You have to get those oh, though. but there's the oh, opportunity. Nice but Hedgeon DI'ing that. Oh man. Yeah, it feels like Hedgeon and um, uh, Hedgeon and Homika have been doing a great job of keeping the two sheets apart. So that um, the advantage of comboing into each other is uh, really minimized. You see, oh, oh man. they're down there. Yeah, she was at 156 percent though, but still, you that's a heartbreaker, man. Getting down there like that. I'm really confused because Hamika's attack has got him, but like it, it looks so much like got him. Oh right, yeah. Got him. Got him, boys. Got him. I don't know. I, I never got really got the vibe from Homika being being a person that just uh, stops playing just to say "Got him, boys." Nah. Uh, maybe that's just me. Uh, I don't know. I mean, his act doesn't say "Got him," so I don't know. Oh, the double hit from the bouncing fish. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, she combos. Or the she coming in? Is that not com uh, com Oh, oh yeah, that, ice that was that was a beautiful up smash. Yeah, very very quick on the trigger. Mm. And it worked out real well. Yeah, they knew. They knew. Oh, and that was fast. Oh, another up smash. Not going to kill yet. Nah. Ooh. Even if you are oh. two sheets, you're still sheep. Fish is bouncing all over. Oh, that oh. up smash gonna take it though. Yeah. Like whatever um, she lacks in uh, kill power, Luma has in spade. Yeah. Oh, then again, there goes Luma. Apparently, four there from Sheik is enough to make it disappear. And when Rosa can't hit, you'll get your ass from the hit. Yeah, oh, esports. Exactly. We're esports all We're esports, man. It's all very, e very, very difficult. If you wanted to like, you wanted to do interesting commentary, but you still have to stay esports. Practice. Mm -hmm. Practice, practice all the time. Practice, practice smash, practice commentary. And just keep in your head. You need to uh, like uh, kind of way that uh, you know in doubles that you form a plan. You need to form a sentence exactly, as you go. Exactly. You know? There's so much happening at the same time. Yeah. Let's see. What's with stocks? Oh, um, well, it's not too bad for Team Sheik uh, if they manage to get stocks. Never mind. Oh, oh the there, team kill. There goes that one. was a team kill. That was a team kill. They don't need to get the stocks off if they, uh, the other team does it themselves. Uh, Sheik being walled out by Luma right there. Tricks, uh, but he still has to get back on stage. Oh, Rosalina gets distracted by the other Sheik. I mean, two Sheiks, that is very hard to uh, yeah. focus on. I Super fast character mm -hmm. with a bunch of quick moves. Just oh, everywhere ooh, at once. Oh. Yeah, I, I saw that up space just uh, over there. That, like, if you let it go and accidentally hit your teammate, it's over. So he just opted for not hitting either of them. Yeah, you gotta do that. Gotta play it safe sometimes. And she, uh, if any character knows about playing it safe, it's she. The needles here on the mm. platform is really helping out. Yeah. <laughs> Two cheeks simultaneously needle camping. What's he going to do? If they could just keep the stage control, that'd be really good for them. Yeah, but Omika is still not giving up the stock. Still not giving up. Oh my goodness. Rosalina, heavyweight confirmed. 67%. Oh, well, maybe Sonic can help a bit. No, still not dead. Oh, man. Oh, oh it breaks down Luma down here. Yeah, that, that's gonna take it. We got one sheep against the Sonic. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, but yeah, that's that was get still cool. That was still cool. That was still cool. Star points, but alas, not the game. Oh. Um, now I wonder, is Team Sheik gonna switch? Because I can imagine uh, having to fight a Rosalina with Sheik, uh, especially two Sheiks, can be very difficult. I, I have a feeling that Rosalina is a bad match for Sheik. I really want to see his Falco. I really want to see Amnagon's Falco. I'm uh, helping you hope, man. Because uh, Falco is way better in, uh, in doubles than he is in singles. I can't imagine having such a uh, quick trigger back air to really his help. His combos just work a lot better when you have another, po another yeah. teammate to uh, cover for them. Oh, right, like his Nair and forward air being multi-hits. Oh, you have so much time to, uh, to account for them. Oh, okay. it seems like they're staying chic. Yeah, we're not going to see any of that quite yet, maybe later down the bracket, but not now. Exactly. But we're still seeing the double sheet back here, which uh, did not do horribly bad. No, uh, no, they no. just uh, they just have maybe to keep stage control a bit more, which is very yeah, important. Exactly. Especially against Rosalina, because Rosalina with stage control, she can cover you so hard, and it's really hard for uh, any character really just to get past that Luma. Yeah, Rosalina is the wall smash for. Her. She's like, like she's like an attack on oh, Titan. No. Oh no! Oh, head John as the just misjudging the distance he had to the stage and not making it with that OP. Uh, maybe this is the advantage that uh, Team Sheik needs. Because uh, right now, they are in the lead. There are two stocks in the lead, in fact. 
I mean, you hate to see that happen, especially with yeah. Sonic being such a dead franchise anyway. Like, <laughs> if Sonic, dead franchise if, and if, now if, also Sonic, a dead if character. Sonic, if Sonic kills himself after all being a dead franchise, it's really not much hope for Hedgehog. No, but, uh, exactly. Let's see Hedgehog for screw though. But still, if I if I was Sheik, we take those. Yeah. That's actually just gonna be like, oh, okay, USD. Oh, sure. Yeah. It's my yeah. it's it's my stock. It's my uh, game now. Yeah. Not not SDing is part of being good. Like, yeah. You if can the other complain opponent, all you want, like, oh, you just lost because I SD. Well, and an, then and don't SD. And SD is not always just because oh, of team the, kill though. Because of the player messing up. It also has to do with something that the more pressure is on you, the more likely it is for you to SD exactly. because you're just gonna do a panning option. So it also has to do about how the opponent actually makes their opponent so pressured that they will SD. So it's really, it's really important to think that there's always two sides. There's always your opponent and yourself. Exactly. Having to play against uh, a good player that knows how to pressure people. It can make you SD really quickly. Yeah, because I know, you'll man. just try to go for something and you just mess it up. They'll panic and you'll do the wrong option and yeah. you'll just... Like he's ahead by 100%. Uh, I have to go for a spike to make it even. And then you pass fault uh, down air off stage and you're gone. Yeah. And, you're, and in hindsight you're thinking, why did I even go for that? But yeah, pressure, man. Pressure, pressure. And pressure is exactly what this team's uh, game is. If Rosalina has a ball, what are you going to do? Oh, you have no time to think this is because Sonic is right on your field. Yes. And Constant pressure from everywhere. And she's usually pretty good to deal with pressure, but mm -hmm. Hamakala and Hedgehog is really good at pulling out this pressure so fast that the Sheik team doesn't even have a chance to react to it. Exactly. Um, they are still only percent-wise now in the lead, I believe. Uh, GT. Oh, no. Uh, they're practically even. Let me correct myself. Excuse me. I mean, it's always Rosalina. Oh. Never mind, there's no more Rosina. No, no and there's no, no more there's Sonic. Sonic. Oh, that was a beautiful team play. I, I want to see more of that. Like uh, one Sheik going back throw into true combo uh, up air from the other Sheik. You don't have to have a 50-50 if oh, you have okay. teammate. Oh, then again, that was a true combo from Sonic. Um, up throw into up air, I believe. Stocks are flying faster than that Sonic game juice. <laughs> Hold on, there might be Sonic fanboys in, uh, in the chat. Yeah, that's why I said it. Oh. Bad Sonic. <laughs> bad trigger. Every publicity is good publicity. Yeah, man, I'm never wa never watching the stream in Zook again because they were hating on Sonic. What there was a stream in Zook? Let me check it out. <laughs> I can I can I can relate though to all those uh, all those bad reviews like yeah. as as a Valkyrie, you know, like sometimes oh. people just like to hate on something, but you just gotta accept it. Oh well. So you think Star Fox Zero is a good game? Well, I haven't really played it. <laughs> Like, you, you think I'm one of the few people though who actually like 06. Oh really? Yeah. Sonic 06? Yeah. But I, I, mean, I don't survive. like colors as much. Oh, Sheik trying trying to rescue the other Sheik instead of just adding extra damage to the pros. Pros can be so finicky, man. Uh, I think Team Sheik really has to make a kill right now. Sonic is still in disadvantage. Oh, and not anymore. Uh, I, I can only see this going south. Luma's going to come back in a few seconds. Yeah, and Luma's uh, so oppressive. Like, there's a reason so many people hate to play against Rosalina. But again, as I said, you know, some people just like to hate on something. And if you play a character that people hate, like Bayonetta, you just gotta learn to deal with it. Yeah, exactly. It's a very important part of the playing the character. Even top players get like massively like hit by people hating on their Ooh. character. Vanish the neutral? Is that a good option? Oh, oh man. Oh, up smash almost, uh, almost in time, but alas, the, the throw had to happen. Oh, that's the back oh, air. Oh, there. Oh, no, Is that going to kill? No, oh, no, no. It's down to Hedgehog and... And Ragon. And Anagon. Yeah, I can see him playing. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Uh, I, I can only imagine the amount of stress. Like, you have your teammate. Oh, oh the back is going to be... No, okay, excellent nice. DI, excellent DI. Oh, man. Oh, oh that might... Oh, still not I fought, fought up-pro. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what? Oh, Going yeah. charging through the stage, getting stage pressed back. Oh! oh and the catch! Popping on! Beautiful off. catch from okay. Anagon. Seems like we're going to a game free. The crowd is coming alive. All right, this double sheet team turning up. Yeah, man. Uh, I, I love teams that have two of the same character, by the way. Like, um, oh, yeah. when you play the same character as your teammate, you instantly know what the combos are, where they stop, where they start. Yeah. So, um, it's so much easier to combo into each other. Remember the one time that Ally and Anthar went double Mario? Oh, I, I think I've heard about it, but I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Well, I've seen, I've, I've seen, though, I've seen, uh, I think it was uh, double Yoshi. Oh my god, that sounds horrible. That was oh. actually like, Yoshi just got way better. Like, before, he got very off the top. 
now he does it up here. He's top at 80%. He's up here at the top at 60. Oh no. It, oh, was, like, it, it was like a ladder incredible. combo. Oh, but it seems that we're starting to uh, already, and uh, Hedgeon and Homika, they are, they are back with Avengers. Oh man, like um, Team Sheik already, in spite of this defending, because they just can't seem to hit Homika. The, uh, well, imagine, bouncing right there. Imagine a double roll succeed. Oh, the, there would be no more stage left for the other team. Numa <laughs> <laughs> just covers everything. Yeah, it's just, like in the Netherlands, we have a, a double uh, double current team, and it's just as bad. Oh no. It's like wherever you stand, an F match or a pin or insta pin is always waiting for you. Yep. It's like, sorry, property of. <laughs> yeah. You are now property of Team Ramses Space, or in this case, Team uh, Team Rosalina and Chao. Oh, I get it now. Like, instead of Luma, they, uh, it's a Chao because of Sonic. Oh, yeah, that's no. right. That's right. Oh, I thought they were behind, but up smash backs to this. That's again, the lead. that's again really creative and shows that both players uh, know uh, about Sonic and about Sonic culture. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so that's very cool. Ends up being a uh, fiend team anyway. And by the way, just let me say, Sonic Adventure Battle 2, the Chow Garden was the best bit. I, I haven't actually tried the Chow Garden. I only tried uh, Adventure 2 like uh, a you, you missed out, man. Yeah, like I the adventure it. was okay. The Sonic bits were good. And then you had the obnoxious bits in the robot. But uh, the Chow Garden, you had to raise Chow to make him raise each other, and you can breed different kinds. And it was so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, heard, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've heard about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Cheek, uh, cheek on a ledge. Speaking about the chi ch ch Chow Garden here, Luma is nowhere to be seen. Oh, no. So what this happened? is the opportunity where the Cheek team wants to take advantage of that and try to uh, pressure uh, Rosalina. But there it is again. Rosalina is still not dying, by the way. All, uh, as well as um, uh, Andragon. Actually, it's kind of it's kind of weird to think about. Or it's, Luma it's, jab, so good, so strong. It's kind of nasty to think about this. Like Rosalina, like she's the mother of all these stars, right? Yeah. Her children are dying every second. Oh. Like think about it. She's the mother to all these stars, but they're all dying, like just continuously. And then 13 seconds after, a new one is born. How many universes have we lost in this match? No one will ever know the truth. Nope. Some question the best left unanswered. I think this situation, exactly. <laughs> that answer will not be pleasing. Oh, but the balancing fish mm. taking out Rosalina there. And uh, this looks pretty good for the double CC. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, they're, they're, still, they're, still, uh, they're still in the uh, Homika and the Hedgehog still in the yeah. But it's still looking. Uh, not, like, not impossible, but it's definitely yeah. looking... Uh, I, I fully attribute this lead to Homika because he just he did, didn't uh, didn't die at first start. He just stayed out there getting more and more rage and just finishing oh. people off with rage Luma. Uh, especially wow. in doubles, it's so hard to spin Rosa down. Just floats around a bit, makes a wall of herself, let Sonic do uh, the heavy lifting being in your face. And yeah, even now, like Sonic is taking a bit of damage, but it doesn't matter because Homika is a stock tank in the game. Oh, and it, yeah, there's the F-Smash. Still living though. Oh, that would have oh, been a good no, one. Yeah. I think down smash would have been better that situation. Mm -hmm. Might be, might be. Ooh. Oh, oh, what a back okay. air, what a back air. And we're gone yeah. out of here. Yeah, no this work. seems kind of bleak for our uh, for our heroes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Going for the grab release, prolonging the inevitable. That's just how it is, man. Yes, that's how it is. Well, well Selena's up to match. Uh, Send it out so quick. Mm -hmm. I'm Kill sure we could have all expected uh, Omika to make it to uh, winner's quarters. But still, great props to the Sheik team. Not going down without a fight. 2-1. Beautiful up smashes. Mm. Oh, man. Uh, let me just check real quick how the bracket is looking. Yeah, I'm going to go check something real quick. I might be back. All right. Then I'm going to uh, talk about the bracket with you lovely viewers. Um, because uh, as we were playing uh, these kinds of matches, there have also been uh, a lot of other matches going on um, that were not on stream. Uh, for example, in winners' quarters uh, at this uh, at this moment we have a Mio Griff discount, uh, which I can only imagine uh, contains Griffith, uh, also one of the top French players at this tournament. Um, Diddy is better than Bayo, beautiful team name. Can't imagine like, what characters they play. <laughs> Um, just uh, knocks to losers, sadly. Um, Sonics and Nier playing the team truck size hitboxes that was on before we, we started commentating. Um, is team truck size hitboxes coming on stage? Might be. 
Um, Team Trickside's hitboxes uh, was, I believe, uh, a, a Cloud and Ness. Yeah, Cloud and Ness. Um, probably alluding to Ness's up air because, you know, that head, the head covers the entire body. I don't know why Ness has such a comically, uh, comically huge head, but um, it helps him take the stocks. He uh, probably uses the noggin for various strategies as well. And add, uh, add to that the giant sword of cloud. And it's like you just can't hit them. Uh, then again, I did see Ness uh, taking a stock from Cloud as well. The uh, enormous hitboxes um, not, uh, not only being advantages uh, to the team, but also kind of sometimes um, biting them in their own behind. Um, but uh, I can only imagine uh, after a few games, they've worked out a few of the kings, warmed up a bit. Um, do I see Kirby and Bayonetta on screen? For, uh, Kirby and Bayonetta, what, what a team that, uh, that would be. Oh wait, um, I've heard about this. Uh, my uh, buddy Muck, he uh, plays Kirby from time to time. And uh, well, uh, a lot, it used to be his main, but now he's uh, playing Mewtwo a bit more. But when Kirby gets the Bayonetta gun, um, because he's so much smaller, it's actually impossible to duck beneath them. And the angle is much more impossible, especially if you go to Lilith with Kirby that has absorbed Bayonetta. It's, uh, and uh, a Bayonetta on the other side also firing the guns. It's just infinite damage. So I don't know if that's the idea behind their team, but if it is, I, <laughs> I am looking forward to some very trolly gameplay. Um, let's see, is the other team, um, I can't quite make it out from here. They're choosing a stage. I believe it's going to be Town and City, uh, which is a very dangerous stage to pick against Bayonetta. So, uh, or Battlefield. Going to Battlefield, that sounds much more logical because uh, going to Town and City against Bayonetta, even as a DK, I am very hesitant because those uh, Bayo Witch Twists are so easy uh, to just uh, lose yourself to. And the French team uh, of Griffith and uh, Jisui Shock uh, is indeed Kirby Bayo. Uh, Jisui Shock in the global ranking of Kirby, uh, I believe second or third. Um, even though it's like not really a top tier character, he is a threat to be reckoned with. And uh, they're play, uh, playing uh, Show My Ken, uh, probably alluding to uh, Ken from Street Fighter, as the other team does have. Uh, yeah, sure you can. Ah, of course. And uh, and the mic, of course, alluding to the player mic, playing uh, playing the mic, the mic, like the uh, like the alliteration over there. No, not the alliteration. There's a word for that, that allu uh, illusion right now. But um, we have seen uh, both Mike uh, uh, and you playing on stage uh, on single bracket before. Uh, both phenomenal players. Um, uh, um, alas, but uh, Mike didn't make it through loser's bracket, so we won't be seeing him tomorrow. Oh, uh, this, uh, um, we don't want to see that happen. Oh, two SDs, uh, I guess. Sort of homie stock by Ryu after Griffith uh, took his own life. Um, sometimes with the amount of jump Bayo has, you can kind of just forget. And you also have to be ready for those team combos from the other team player. When they hit their own teammate, like Kirby does here, you just can, can just take advantage of that. You can see it happening and think, well, it might not be my team, but I can still get a team combo off of that. So um, let's see, let's look at the stocks. Uh, Team France, despite the, the SD, still doing fine. Uh, sadly, Kirby has not absorbed Bayonetta. I, I love the sight of that, but you know, Kirby in Hill, it's not for everyone. And uh, stocks are even right now, and that uh, could very quickly change with uh, Ryu and Shoryu. Especially in teams, it's just let your guard down for just a minute and let uh, Ryu, let Ryu in. It's just so friendly. But the um, thing that I find kind of hard is uh, Ryu isn't that fast and neither is Ike. And it seems like he, uh, Ike also has beat the wrong way. This is just a game of uh, SDs, sadly. Um, stocks flying everywhere or dropping like flies. Uh, just we shocked the only one at the moment that hasn't SD yet. Um, playing Kirby, just as many jumps as Bayo, by the way. So maybe their plan is just to uh, cover the air uh, with Kirby's combo game and Bayo's combo game. 
like never ending combos from the little uh, pink blob or orange, orange blob at the moment and the uh, undisputed top tier of Smash 4. But uh, canonically, by the way, Kirby uh, should be the strongest character uh, in all of Smash. But uh, there's many videos on that uh, that I can recommend. By, uh, for you. There has been uh, death battles by Screw uh, by Screw Attack. Uh, wildly popular videos where Kirby has been pitted against uh, villains from Dragon Ball Z and Bomb. Uh, beautifully animated stuff, but they uh, they explain that Kirby in the Kirby universe, Kirby uh, battles uh, planet exploding uh, threats. Oh, there we go, Kirby Bayo. Look at that hairdo and the glasses. It's almost a cosplay. And here come the guns. How can you escape all the uh, all this firepower? Unlimited firepower. Ah. Griffith repositioning. You just can't come in, man. This is our stage now. Oh, man. And the hammer has a finish. Very stylish. Just we shock making a statement. Kirby, his Kirby is not to be reckoned with. And um, I'm wondering if uh, the Ike, uh, uh, Team Mute and Mike, uh, show Mike Ken, are going to uh, figure out something change the gameplay a bit, maybe switch the character, other stage. They seem to be discussing what to do. Okay. Maybe their first um, their first agreement is, let's not as the this game. A very good start, of course. Uh, this is one of the things I trained for myself as well. It's a very silly thing, but uh, just not as the it's also part of being good, as I mentioned before. Um, let's see, Tag and Zuzui Shock versus Mike and Mood. Game two. Going back to the same stage, so it wasn't the stage, and it wasn't the character apparently. So, um, fully confident in their abilities with these characters. Um, and as it's going this far, this far, it's pretty good as uh, Beo is almost in kill percent. Or, well, with Ike, Ike Smash attacks, already in kill percent. Oh, into Shoryu sure kill percent. And I see Mute waiting there, I know how he loves his Shoryu. As most Ryu mains tend to do. Oh, are we getting it? Oh no, he missed. He missed the back air. Oh, ah, uh, miss input Shoryu. Uh, it is really hard though. Might be a bit easier for those who have played Street Fighter Among Us, but I've tried it once. I'm not touching Ryu again. It's not for me. Just give me the regular press B to win with DK. But I like how Mute is just running about, not really doing anything. But uh, just being there, making the Fred aware, I can show you you at any time, just like that, you're Kirby, you're going to die from these kinds of things. And also, Griffith, uh, you're Bayo, even though it says tag, but... Um, oh, wait, it's Discount Griff, right? <laughs> uh, I've been calling him Griffith the entire time, but it was tag all along. I am very sorry, tag, if you're watching this back. Um, I'm sincerely sorry. You are your own person. Um, but maybe you should have uh, shouldn't have called your team Mario Grip discount. You're you're the uh, tag just free shock real deal, and you can be proud of that. And it's not a discount if you paid for your character, by the way. Like you you uh, can be proud of the 599. It has it used to be a meme, but now the ba most Bayo mains are just like yeah I paid 599. How about you? Are you pauper? You play a ready to play character? Oh man. Also, by the way, Ike living to 150. This is how the team is meant to be played. Just two characters never die versus two lightweights. Suddenly, with all the rage on your side. Not if you uh, Tatsumaki Senpak. Tatsumaki Senpak, you can. Uh, your own teammate. Oh man, once you learn how to say it, it, it becomes really sad fighting. But um, let's see. Yeah, the rage is gone again. Uh, sucks as well. Uh, one stock advantage for uh, Mio Griff discount. I trying to back out a bit, trying to bring some pressure, but not really doing that much. Getting hit. Oh, there's a back air, but yeah, Battlefield is two big blast zones, man. Battle within saving Bayonetta as well. Uh, they really have to finish these stocks soon. Like, either assure you from Ryu or. Yeah, a dash attack from Ike. You just can't, you can't sit around when I just right there. Oh man, Bayo barely living. That's how, that looked like an unusual story. Uh, there must be some kind of trick to uh, reverse a beam with Ike. Because 
Ooh. Oh no. One Ike versus two Bayonetta's. Oh, and there we go again. There we go again. The bullets. Oh man. Yeah, I, I believe Ike is going to get a lot of damage. Of the or he can just take the so called Bayonetta, I guess. They're having a lot of. Oh. <laughs> How are you going to make this work? They're having a lot of fun, but do remember you still have to win the game. Just do, don't prolong it too long, or I may find a way to bring it back. Yeah, the, the Bayo down smash not finding his mark. Mike, his clutch is on. Oh, his up the Wood Kirby killed Kirby, by the way. Like, Kirby is the third lightest in the game, I believe. Uh, right after Mewtwo and Jigglypuff. So. Uh, you can't just be playing around with great height like that. Then again, I'm not them. Maybe they're really confident in uh, winning this. Well, there go Bayo combos. Is Mike going to come out? Yes, Mike is going to get out of it, but not without some damage. He's at 140, and Ta yeah, Tag just hitting his own teammate because he's won anyway. Um, Tag against you, Sweet Shock. Taking game. Uh, taking the game and um, advancing on to winners' quarters. Uh, or was this winners' quarters? I believe I was advancing on to winners' semis, top six already. Way to go. Let's see. Um, other matches that might have happened. Um, losers' brackets. Edgar and Sabine still going strong. Let's see. They uh, were sent to losers earlier on stream, uh, contrary uh, to the seeding. And it doesn't seem like they've given up quite yet. They are also in loser round four right now. Um, waiting for the winner of um, the double chic team that uh, didn't make it earlier. And a team called Ragnarok won. Not really sure who's in that, but sounds uh, like a force to beat. Um, next people already uh, entering a character. Let's see. Uh, I see Rosa. Who might this Rosa be? this tag as well or is he just I must admit there have been a lot of good Sonics and Rosas right um, the, the past few uh, matches and really at this venue the, um, it is uh, you know you have uh, some Smash cultures where uh, one character is more represented than another um, where in, in England for example there are a lot of Sheiks a lot of Sonics and it seems that here in Switzerland uh, and all the people from uh, around uh, the surrounding countries that came along, um, I see a lot of Rosas and a lot of Sonics. And to be fair, it's a real good character. You have Son X, uh, you have um, you have Lunar, um, all these good Sonics, and uh, Homika, and uh, let's see who it is. I can't read a track from here. I have glasses, but uh, apparently I still can't see. But um, they're gearing up for another Sonic uh, Sonic Rosa team. Um, uh, and let me tell you about this event, by the way, because uh, this, ev this event was um, organized by Danger Noodle, um, one of uh, the uh, the brother, little brother of Kepler, by the way, who is uh, still uh, still making waves. Uh, not. Uh, with Lancelot instead of Wave, but still making waves in the scene at the moment. At the moment in losers in singles, uh, with an upset by Smuff, uh, as I'm sure you all have seen, because it was a really high upset, and if you haven't seen it, just go rewatch that. But um, he has been um, doing this as a project, um, also for school, but also for himself, because uh, he has been setting this up uh, with himself as the main organizer and uh, friends helping him out. But I've seen him running around around the place uh, faster than Sonic, uh, Sonic on screen because there's so much to do at the tournament. It's, it's so much stress, and all props uh, to Danger Noodle for organizing this. Because uh, not only do we have singles and doubles brackets, there's also a rock paper scissors tournament going on. Um, there's an amateur bracket that has been uh, held, and uh, also pizzas that have been gotten for everyone who wanted them. Uh, there's pasta, I believe, and noodles coming in uh, at the end uh, at the end of the day. So it really feels like uh, we're being taken care of as players. There's always something to do. There's always something to eat, um, and it's 
quite a tournament for someone. It's his second tournament, by the way. And look at this turnout. Second tournament, uh, second uh, organization. And I'd love to see more of this. Um, and this is the moment I'm going to plug myself for a bit in the future, by the way. But um, I'm currently starting up on um, uh, a thing I think the Smash scene has been sorely missing. Uh, namely, uh, press. Because uh, regular press won't cover this because regular press does, uh, doesn't really take esports seriously just yet, but we're getting there. And one step in getting there, I believe, is um, if I can make this happen, uh, well, maybe maybe not, but it's a, it's a project I've been working on. Um, I'm going to interview um, Lancelot, uh, one of the top players from Finland here, uh, present here, uh, Waves, the Swiss Sonic, and Danger Noodle, uh, the organizer of the tournament himself. And on smashinspector.net, uh, at seventh, uh, on the 7th of November, I'm going to be start, uh, uh, starting to post weekly interviews with top players um, to let the Smash scene know what's going on in Europe. Because uh, if there's one thing the Smash scene needs more, it's contact between the players. And uh, most uh, competitive players uh, have already made a Twitter account because that's apparently the way Smashers communicate by now. But um, uh, Twitter, uh, for all the good it's done, uh, in the end is uh, a platform where um, it's mostly meant for opinions and quick spouts uh, and uh, also a lot of drama here and there. And that's just not a thing that I think gives enough objective information about uh, the scene, about who's playing what, about, about which tournament is where. And that's where I'm going, uh, uh, the plan is that I'm going to come in. So. Um, uh, look out for uh, eventual uh, Smash Inspector articles. Um, I'm going to be uh, shouting it out on twi uh, Twitter from the 7th of November, so just in three weeks. Um, that was a plug for me. Uh, as I see oh, Homika oh, sitting oh, down oh, again. Oh, oh. Uh, makes sense for it with Rosa and Sonic. Um, we, uh, Hedgeon and uh, Homika uh, coming back with, um, well, not with Vengeance because they won. They just want to advance on to probably win his finals. That's everyone's goal right now. But we're going to see uh, some more uh, walling speedy action. And let's see their opponents. Oh, is it the Dream Team? I see a Mario. I hope I see the Luigi again because... Ah, the Dream Team! The Mario Brothers are back again. I, uh, a little fairy whispered into my ear. And um, I'm going to love to see this. Uh, the Dream Team apparently made it all the way to winner semis. Uh, to face off against um, the dreaded wall, uh, the wall and the speedster, uh, Omika and Edgeon. And Luigi practicing ma his mashing beforehand. I'm sure you've seen the clip of uh, Elegant um, making a grimace while pressing Luigi a million times in a row um, at GTX. But the Luigi mash is real. This is a real Luigi. This is how it gets played. And um, now I think about it, it's two dream teams. Um, it's Rosalina uh, and Chao, uh, as the um, as Hedgeon and Omega decided to name themselves, and the Mario Brothers, the Mario Brothers Super Show. Um, I think they're just still discussing a bit. Um, I don't know uh, what's holding up. Maybe some stream issues, but um, they're gearing up uh, for a combo fest versus a keep out game. And I, uh, well, I wonder because I believe both Mario Brothers, but well, a lot of uh, characters have a bad matchup against Rosa because Rosa is so hard to get around. But the Mario Brothers are very reliant on grabs, and if there's just that Luma, just denying that every single time, that's going to be a real, real um, difficult thing to have to work around. Um, it's all going to come down to well, not all going to come down, but a heavy part of the game is going to be decided by whether or not they can get rid of Luma very quickly. And um, when Rosalina is on her own, I believe the Mario Brothers can make quick work of that. Uh, I see um, I see someone coming over. Oh, with headsets, right. So the, ca uh, the players, of course, um, playing on such high level uh, makes gives a lot of stress. And I can imagine uh, that you want to drown out all the noise from the venue that, I, uh, that the venue is making. Because you need the focus, especially in doubles where so much is happening on the at the same time. You need that focus um, of uh, 
just drowning out the rest of the noises and um, being uh, being able to just see what's on the screen without the crowd yelling at you. I mean, I myself love the crowd yelling at me. I, I love the hype, but um, a lot of players opt to uh, put on music. And it seems that they've gone for Final Destination. Um, it seems like a difficult stage for the Mario Brothers, uh, as uh, Sonic can uh, run away uh, all the time, while Rosa just can cordon off an entire uh, part of the stage. Uh, yes, and Rosa already cornering the Mario Brothers to the right side of the stage. Or, yeah, uh, yes. Just, Luigi is just trying to land with a back air, but it only hits Luma and then it's a free grab for Rosa and already quite a big quite a heavy lead for Omika and Hedgeon two monsters for France wouldn't want to play to, uh, against them in singles and I'd hate to play against them in doubles There's the first stock for Mario is already gone and oh, they, oh, oh my god there goes Luigi as well Rough start for the Mario Bros. Oh, I think I'll, I'm going to have to see my dream team again and lose it. Because this is... Uh, well, let's not count them out yet. Uh, because uh, the dream team... Uh, oh, there's Luigi sure you. There, there's always this explosiveness of, uh, of Luigi. What I do you think of this matchup? Uh, I am back and see the dream team is back yet again. Let's see what's going to happen with Chinese maple syrup. Uh, who's in the loop right now? Let's see here. Oh, Homika. Oh, it's Homika and Hedgehog. Yeah, okay. yeah Homika and Hedgehog have been very dominating. They've taken uh, both stocks, um, in, two stocks. Oh, in the and first there's minute. another one. And there's another one. Oh, uh, four stock advantage. Um, Are we gonna see six stock? Might be, might be. That, that's. Uh, nope. Nope. No six stock. Luigi says no. Well, at least the dream team is going home with a prize. Well, not going home. Go to school, kids. Going to keep their pride this game. Oh, uh, okay, sure. Uh, I actually got a dip. You got a dip I, I, I'm playing doubles. Well, it's uh, fun I having got, you here, I guess. I got really inspired by uh, Amaragon's team with the double team. And oh, thought, right. why don't I just play double fox instead of Falco fox? Oh, I'm right. Playing, I'm playing with Noah Daniel. So oh. uh, we're just playing double fox. Uh, where are you in record at the moment? Uh, we just... Uh, one our, one our fir first one first loser match. So oh, okay. loser round two, I'm pretty sure. All right, maybe we'll see you uh, on stream. Oh, soon. who knows? Who knows? Uh, I'll, I'll just, see. Just you, keep on doing foxing. Okay. I'm sure it'll work out. Yes, but uh, I hope you guys will enjoy uh, Danky Kang commentating uh, doubles. Um, I'll be right back. I hope somebody can uh, give me something to drink because my mouth is getting really thirsty at the moment. Yeah. No commentating doubles is fine and all. Uh, but um, and I love talking, but you need you need to stay hydrated, guys. And yeah, I kind of expected this from the start, but uh, it seems like kind of a shutout uh, for the Dream Team. Uh, let's see what they're going to do against uh, the um, uh, team of Rosa and Sonic, because I do believe that the Mario Brothers just have it too hard on these two. They um. They can get in, they can get their combos going, they don't have a stage control, and then, well, where are you with the Mario? Uh, it seems that they're not switching anyway, but uh, trying to make it work. Uh, maybe on a different stage, because uh, FD uh, especially is just, you can't land anymore. Yeah, they're going to Battlefield. Maybe some classic Mario, Mario combos uh, on the platforms will do. Uh, oh. Oh my god, just going, uh, going in uh, straight for the up air. You know, sometimes you just gotta make them, uh, gotta let them know that you're, you're prepared to just rush in without thinking and hit them. And then they have to be aware uh, and um, keep in mind the option of shielding all the time. Luigi going dangerously high against Rosa, but managing to get out and escape. Uh, Mario saving Luigi from uh, a back row from Sonic, giving Sonic a cape for good measure. Sometimes, you know, there's in doubles these moments where you're all clusterfucked together and um, you just don't know what's going on anymore. And um, I, as a commentator, I see people get hit and I just... Well, apparently somebody's getting bodied, but I have no clue who. But uh, at the moment, it's going a lot better for the Dream Team as the percentages are still kind of even. Sonic at high percent. Uh, oh, Luigi missing the tag. I found the common man. Oh, but Mario getting the spike. 
and both high percentage characters are losing a stock. Mario and Rosa still living on. Uh, Rosa being the wall that she is, hard to touch her at all, especially with Sonic running around. Um, I believe Homika this time is going to stock, uh, try and stock tank as well. Even though Luma is gone again, is he going for the follow-up? No, uh, Homika is just going to get a safe recovery. Back in the middle of central stage, waiting for Luma to come back. Uh, having uh, Hedgeon just covering uh, at all instances. And uh, Mario Bros. not really punishing the Luma's um, position of Omega as well. Oh man, Omega accidentally up smashing uh, Mario. Luigi offstage. Oh, is he going to get edge guarded? Not yet. No, Luigi makes it back. Well, uh, until he got up air by Luma. But, you know, Rosa doing Rosa things. Mario doing Mario things. Ma Mario. Ma Mario uh, is a cheap knockoff. Uh, must have been inspired by Super Sammy, who always uh, plays with the deck Mario. Clean catch by Sonic. Uh, a B into up air. Oh, man. Uh, Hedgehog going really deep as well. He's really aggressive. Um, my <laughs> oh man, Luigi is never out. Let's see, stocks are even. Um, they are making some good plays, but oh yeah, Luigi making it back thanks, to, uh, partly thanks to Mario, I, I believe. Luma gone. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, T is really onto Rosa. He he knows that he has to be. Um, he has to make this kill now, or Luma comes back and there Luma is again. Um, well, is Luigi going to... No, Luma still lives. Uh, Mario just runs into the up and f uh, But still, can we edge guard Sonic? Can we get a Sonic edge guard? No, no Sonic edge guard I believe. But there goes Luma again. What's Homika going to... Homika is uh, content to wait a bit at the back and only uh, play a bit of punish, uh, a punish game. Uh, until Luma comes back. Uh, it seems that um, our green team uh, does not have the answer to quickly dispose of her. Um, as Luma comes back yet again, they are going to have to deal with the trouble. I'm going to need uh, an up smash or something from the Mario Brothers. And it seems like uh, Carpador is fishing for it. But um, yeah, there, there they are again. He's daring Rosa to land, and Rosa not landing. So floaty, can stay in the sky for a century. Um, and now the star is in the way again, not being able to finish his stock. Rosa at 126, but getting punished for that grab. Don't grab when a, uh, when a teammate of uh, the person is standing right next to you. That's, uh, that's just asking for a punish. But still, um, with 0% on the new Rosa stock, Mario gone, and just Luigi left. Uh, this is going to take a bit of a miracle uh, to get the job done. As um, Luigi is now having to play against two of uh, his worst matches, I believe. And um, meanwhile, the other team, they're safe players. They're, well, uh, I say as uh, Homika just goes off stage. But uh, makes the wall again. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can't throw like that. that that's just, you're gone. Um, Homika and Edgel move on to winner's finals, I believe. Winner's quarters? Oh, winner's semis. Oh man, this much talent uh, only in winner's quarters already. <laughs>